Hello, audio drama lovers. Late again for that next appointment? Are you always late for that next appointment? Do you feel like everyone you pass by is blocking your way, an impediment in your path to be somewhere in a timely manner? Then you might have a dickens of a time with the following story. Schnell's Bells. This second entry from our series, The Ride Sharers, was taped live in New York City on December 16th, 2018. Consider it a blast from our not-so-distant past. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's an interesting opinion. At least, it would be if A, I cared, and B, it belonged to anyone I cared about. Give me the bottom line, okay? Spare me the editorials. This is Evelyn Crew you're talking to, not Barbara Walters. Am I getting the finished product on time or not? Uh, Mrs. Crew. Miss Crew, you, you wanted to see me? I don't care that it's Christmas Eve. The entire world doesn't revolve around Christmas. You know, it's very narrow-minded of you, borderline evangelical. I have half a mind to report you to HR. Ms. Crew? Just come in and close the door. Hold on. Look, I'm going to have to call you back. Because I expect an answer, and you're forcing me to call you back to get one. And believe it or not, the whole world doesn't revolve around you or Christmas if you don't want your whole world coming to an abrupt stop in terms of your career, I suggest you having your proverbial ducks in a row and ready to quack, quack, quack to the tune of everything's A-OK -okay and ready to go, Miss Crew, when I call back. Capiche? Ah! Oh, what's the point of having people to work for you if they don't do the work, huh? I, I ask you. Um... Oh, it's rhetorical, Rob. I'm not really asking you. Calm down. Uh, right. Of course. So? Yes. So you... You asked me, Ms. Crew, to... <laughs> right, I know, Rob. I, I know I asked you to come here. God, calm down. I just like watching you sweat for a minute. I get a real kick out of it. You kill me, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you... You got it. So, Rob, Rob Crandall, how's the Larimer project coming along? Oh, well... Everything is projected on schedule. As far as I can tell from the notes I got from the team, we're going to... As gonna... far as you can tell? What does that mean? I... I mean, it looks like... Does it look like? Or is it, Rob? Things can look like a lot of things. I can smile and nod and pretend I'm not annoyed, and it will look like I'm completely satisfied with that answer. Right. But does that mean that I am? No. So, which is it? I... I guess... I guess I need to check again to make sure... Good. Tomorrow, then. Confirmation by 3 p.m. Go. Ms. Um, Ms. Crew. Yeah? Was there a question? Something unclear? That's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go. It's just that... What? Rob? Tomorrow's Christmas. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, ma'am. You too, huh? Well... Well, look, how long have you worked for me now, Rob? About seven years now, Ms. Crew. And in that time, have you ever, ever known me to take off Christmas Day? No, ma'am, but... So really, Rob, I'm not asking you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. That seems fair, right? It's just that I... Isn't that fair? Fair. Yes, I just... I... So what's the issue here? Aren't you people all about fair and equal treatment in the workplace? Isn't that what I hear all over the place? My son, though. He... Oh, I see. I see. Because you and your wife decided to have a child, that means that the rest of us have to sacrifice. Is that it? No. No, ma'am. I, I don't guess want you... that means the rest of us who decided unselfishly to not have children, to be available and to dedicate ourselves to our commitments before, before piling on a bunch of other responsibilities that we couldn't handle. Oh, because it doesn't seem like you can handle it right now. Is that what I'm hearing. No. So maybe I should give consideration to others who can handle it. No, Ms. Crew, ma'am, I can... I can handle it. I'm sorry. 3 p.m. Yes, ma'am. Eastern. Yes. Out. Now. Close the door. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and stop calling me ma'am. Honestly, ma'am, ma'am. What are we on, the set of Little House on the Prairie? Of course. 
I'm sorry. Oh, Ms. Crew. What, Crandall? Merry Christmas. Merry, merry. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Har, har, har. Ugh. Excuses, excuses. Like they all really want to rush home to their families anyway. Huh, right. Okay, let's see if I can get out of here in time for happy hour. woman needs a ride here. Taxi! Oh, seriously, it's a rough day when even the obviously elite can't catch a ride. Ugh, stupid holidays. Excuses, traffic, no one wants to work, but everyone's got somewhere to go, somewhere to be. Ugh, what's so important? <laughs> I'll tell you what's important, getting me back to my apartment sometime before next holiday season. Ugh, taxi! Uh, hey! The same to you, buddy! Oh, oh, wait, yes, got one, finally, it's a boat. Out of my way. Hey, watch it, what's the big... Wait, Jacob, is that, is that... Jacob, hold on, I... Uh... No way, no, no way. Oh, it couldn't be, of, of course, he's... Jacob's not... Oh, Jacob is dead, Evelyn. These stupid holidays are getting to you, but you're not going to fall for all that sentimental nonsense like everyone else, right? Okay, I, now I definitely need that drink if I'm mistaking seeing the face of my long-gone partner on that rude, pushy jerk, though. Hey, honest mistake, he was a rude, pushy jerk, too. Man, if I could have given that guy a piece of my mind! You're just asking to be added to the naughty list, aren't you? Uh, har, har. Hey, pal, the next cab that comes by is mine, so don't even think about trying to sneak in with small talk. My apologies, dear. Didn't mean to intrude. I just overheard your dilemma. Pity. Pity. I, for one, won't be waiting for long. Oh, yeah? You know something I don't? Oh, to be sure. I wouldn't bother with these yellow cabs at this time of year. Not when I can schnell. <laughs> Smell, shell, what, what? Schnell. Surely you've heard of it. The new rideshare app that's all the rage. Oh, great. Everyone's a salesman, especially this time of year. And so how much is it going to cost me, huh? It's either the holiday fair hikes or hike your way uptown, right? Thanks, but no thanks. No, and not with Schnell's sharing and caroling rideshare special. Just sign up to share with three riders along your way, and your trip is totally free. Well, minus the administrative and convenience fees, of course. No, of course. Well, nothing is free in this world anymore, is it? Always some kind of a catch. Uh, well... As long as I see myself at home with a stiff drink in hand in the next hour without breaking the bank, I don't care who I have to share a ride with. <laughs> I sit next to Immanuel Kant and take a moral philosophy course along the way. Even though I really can't stand all that garbage. <laughs> Get it? Hmm. Critics everywhere. Look, Mr... Albans, CEO and brain trust behind this genius little app here. The pleasure is all mine, dear. Hmm. Well, thanks, Albans. I owe you one. Not at all, my dear. Right place, right time. Maybe think of it as one of those little Christmas miracles they're always making television specials about. Though, of course, you're most welcome to show your appreciation by becoming one of our Christmas angel investors, just in time for the season. Yeah, that 100% won't be happening. Pity. You don't strike me as the type to miss out on a golden opportunity. At least in matters of business. Look, buddy, just show me how to get this Schnell app of yours and get me the Schnell out of here. just seems delightful, doesn't she? Oh, but who am I to judge? Maybe she's perpetually waking up on the wrong side of the bed. Maybe she's just not able to catch a good night's sleep. Come on, some mornings you wake up feeling ready to pull the covers right back over your head and go back to sleep. I mean, it is 2020, so it's fair. 
But what if the reason you lingered longer in bed was because you have the most deliciously comfortable sheets? Brooklinen can make that happen for you. How delightful would it be if your sleep was actually refreshing because you've been wrapped in cozy delight? If you don't love your sheets, Brooklinen has you covered. So, Brooklinen is all about beautiful home essentials that aren't ridiculously expensive. Brooklinen is the first direct-to-consumer bedding company that is all about quality and comfort without taking themselves too seriously. It's luxury that is accessible without the markup. Brooklinen offers bedding with a variety of sheets, colors, patterns, and materials to fit your needs, desires, wants, dreams, and tastes. Brooklinen is so confident you will love their products, they even offer a 365-day money-back guarantee. I am what you'd call a big fan of my bed, and I try to stay as much time as possible in it. It's my cozy spot where dreams and snuggles happen. There's nothing quite like crawling in and being wrapped in softness. I may find it hard to get out of bed in the morning, as my usual, but now it's because I'm wrapped in the silky, soft, luxe sateen of my Brooklinen sheets. I know they say you should use your bed just for sleeping, but I could happily do all of my Zoom meetings from there. Brooklinen's biggest sale of the year is going on right now. This is the season for gift-giving, my friends, so if you've got people on your list who are hard to please, head to brooklinen.com. Bedding, towels, loungewear, they've even got candles and silk eye masks and robes, so you can treat your beloveds to a spa day at home. That is a great idea. Thank you very much. Plus, there's always the Never Fail gift card, and Brooklinen has those too. Brooklinen's Black Friday sale, their biggest sale of the year, goes through November 30th. You make out with huge savings of 20% off and free shipping. Go to brooklinen.com right now and use promo code FIRESIDE for 20% off and free shipping. B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot com and enter promo code FIRESIDE for 20% off your order and free shipping. Brooklinen.com, promo code FIRESIDE at checkout. Hey, if you're hearing this after November 30th, no worries, loves. You can still get 10% off your first order plus free shipping. Brooklinen.com. Someone tell Evelyn. Now, back to Schnell's Bells. Nonsense off. I see enough ads as it is. Whoever thought installing TVs into cabs was a good idea. <sighs> so far, so good. Almost to Midtown. No sharers in sight. Maybe I'll get lucky. Hey, driver, got anyone lined up for a pickup soon? Uh, okay. Uh, confidential info, I, I take it? Okay, rude. I'll definitely be keeping that in mind when it's time to tip. Not that I'd be tipping anyway. Let's be real, you guys are on an hourly salary. It's not my job to pay you. I have plenty of employees to pay already, and they're all wanting raises and bonuses and... Ugh, am I home yet? Oh, oh, we're pulling over. (laughs) Christmas miracle. Wait, this isn't my street. Where are we? Oh, great. Ride share, take one. At least she looks somewhat normal. Somewhat. A little pale, maybe, but hey, who isn't on the pallid side this time of year? (sighs) So, cold enough for you? I feel not the cold. I feel not myself. Uh, okay, sorry I asked. Really sorry. I feel only for you, Evelyn Crew. Well, that is not creepy at all. And wait, how, how do you know my name? Does it show up on the Schnell app? I am not okay with that. I'll be writing that Mr. What was his name? Albans. Mr. Albans. Albans. 
The name's Olbens, and I'm here for the Schnell Rideshare app. Ah, uh, what? Are the video ads voice activated? Take advantage of our sharing and caroling rideshare special. Take a trip here and there with three fellow Schnellers. You never know who you'll pick up. Who will it be? Who will you meet? What might you see? Off! Driver, turn it off! Evelyn Crew, I come to share a ride with you. Uh, let me out now, please. And to share an interest in your soul. My soul? What What are you, some kind of succubus? Fancy yourself a vampire. Your salvation, then. Great airs you wear indeed, but a darkness shrouds your life. Past, present, and future. Let me take you on a ride through your true history. Not the story you tell others, that you tell yourself. Uh, this is crazy. Hey, hey, is this loon getting out anytime soon? Wait, we're slowing down. Is, it, is this your stop? This is... Wait, this is... Where are we? This looks like... But it can't be. We're supposed to be in Manhattan. When did we go over the bridge? Look familiar to you, Evelyn? Uh, I grew up here. I mean, this is... That's my old boarding house from my school days in Brooklyn. I, I thought they tore that down ages ago. Indeed. You see it right. Oh, look, there goes Marcy Clemens. And, oh, holy wow, Patricia, my best friend, Patty! Patty! These are but shadows of what was, though they are no longer real in this world. They are still very real to you. I haven't thought of those girls in ages. And what of that girl there, sitting alone on the stoop? It, it's, it's me. Everyone else is going home for the holiday, but, well, I'm not. Nowhere to go. Which is fine, of course. Extra studying for me. A time to get ahead. It seems a very lonely childhood, to be sure. <sighs> Wait a minute. I get it. This is like that Dickens story, right? A Christmas carol where you're going to show me all the stuff about how lonely and sad I was, which turned me into a mean old grump, and oh, boo-hoo, I'd better be nice or no one's going to show up at my funeral. I see you've done your reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just told you I spent my whole childhood studying. Huge surprise that I'd catch a crazy, obvious reference like this. Look, can we just... Go ahead and get through Rob Crandall's pathetic family and the visions of my gloomy post-existence and skip ahead to where I wake up in my apartment. I've got things to do. Oh, indeed. Much business you have to tend to, such as this little deal you made just a few years ago. Wait, hold on. Now where are we? Wait, that looks like an old warehouse down by the... Oh. Oh, no. Is this, is this the seaport? Hold on, the, the, the story isn't supposed to go this way. This is the story as you have made it, Evelyn. What you see is what you have made to be. The past is the past. It is not up to me. What? what? No, 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 don't stop. Keep going, keep going. No, for God's sake, leave the window up. Don't you know what's about to... <gasps> No, 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 no. It's Jacob, and, and it's it's me. Holy, holy Jacob! Oh my God, Jacob, what just happened? That wasn't supposed to happen! Evelyn, calm down. Calm down already. Give me the gun. It wasn't supposed to be loaded, Jacob. You told me it wasn't going to really be loaded. Would you calm down, please? You're not helping. We gotta get out of here. But, but, but what about, I mean, I shot her. She's laying there, bleeding, dead... Who was that woman? Someone who knew what the deal was, Evelyn. Look, obviously she needed the cash. Why else would she be involved in something like this anyway? But no one was supposed to get hurt. But no one was supposed to get hurt. But no one was supposed to get hurt, Jacob. No one was supposed to die. But you're alive, Evelyn, and so am I. And look, look what escaped with us. What is that? The cash. We didn't even have to pay up. In, in all the confusion, we got away with it. Uh, <laughs> Our lives... And the money! We have to report this, Jacob. What, and go to jail? And give up the money? Evelyn, think of it. Think of all the good you could do with this much money. How, how much more you could make. Just think of it. Well, uh, I mean, I guess I guess, I guess, I could put the money to better use than some dirty crook, right? You got it, babe. That's the Christmas spirit. No, 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 come on, let's get out of here. A clean escape. They'll never find us. Oh, man, no one will ever know. A stocking full of loot. Merry Christmas to us! Right. All oh, right. No one will ever know. 
No one! But you always knew, Evelyn. Why are you showing me this? I, I know I messed up, okay? I, I gave money to charity. I, I still do. I, I just asked my accountant. Hey, wh where do you think you're going? This is my stop. Your next ride share is coming along. Evelyn, I wish you the best. Hey, hold on. You can't just... Oh, fine. Just get out. Get out of here. Go good riddance. Hey, don't, don't you walk away from me when I'm telling you to leave. Hey, oh, driver, driver, can you do something about this? <sighs> of course. I forgot, strong, silent type. In other words, useless. Fine, I'll go after her myself, just like everything else. Whoa! Oh, hey there! Room for one more? <laughs> you should think so. This is my ride, after all. Oh, wait a minute. So, you're the... Christmas present ghost, or whatever, right? That's how this goes. Guilty! Ha, you know your stuff, it sounds like. Maybe you should be doing this job instead of me. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, this is fine. We're, we're in the present. I can do that. I live in the present. I live for the present. I'm fine now. Yes, that all happened then, but, but now... Everything's fine now. My company's great. We're on point. Everything is above board. N no one knows. N no one's around to know anymore since Jacob. Well, what a festive sight. All the colors, all the lights, all the smiles. Haven't you noticed how magical everything is around Christmas time? <sighs> yeah, it's a regular Siegfried and Roy special. Cue the white tigers. <laughs> well, it's all how you look at it. See all those beautiful decorations. Here, we're coming up on a beautifully lit building right here. Just look. Wait, wait what part of town is this now? Are we at Jackson Heights? Oh, yeesh, I'll give you one thing. These Schnell cars sure can travel. Thank God I'm not on a distance meter. And who have we here? A young man helping out the family. Shoveling the walk. What a good boy. That shovel is bigger than he is. What's he doing out here all alone? Where is parents? Hmm, well, now look here. Here comes a gentleman now. Maybe that's his father. Wait, is that... Rob Crandall? <laughs> Good King Wenceslas looked out <laughs> On the feast of Stephen <laughs> When the snow <coughs> Lay round about Deep and crisp and even. <laughs> Woo. Looks like you're doing a good job laying all that snow about, Timmy. Oh, yeah. You know, I bet old King Wenceslas had servants to do this for him. I'm pooped. Oh, take a break, son. You shouldn't be out here doing this anyway. Where's your Aunt Mona? She's in the house, finishing up dinner. She burnt it. I hope you're in the mood for Chinese takeout. <laughs> when am I not in the mood? Hey, maybe we'll leave a plate of egg rolls for Santa this year, huh? <laughs> hey, Timmy, I told you to leave that for your father it, It's my fault, Mona, I am late And I mentioned this morning I wanted to get this done tonight I just wanted to help Inside, young man, <coughs> now, go set the table <coughs> Okay, okay So, what was it this time? Miss Evelyn Scrooge doesn't believe in the holidays, either. <laughs> she really is something out of a Dickens novel. Oh, come on. <laughs> she really spot on. And she doesn't know the half of it. Oh, it's just a coincidence. And she's just rude. Mona, Ms. Crew is under a lot of stress right now. The end of the year is a hard time for her and the company. Oh, yeah. She's really roughing it right now, I'm sure. Well, maybe she'd like to trade places and hang out with a bunch of obsessive ghosts in a car all night. Shh. How was he today? How's he holding up? He was good as gold, as always. In church tonight, he said he hoped that all the families that were there together would look to him as a beacon of hope, that life can go on, and the Christmas spirit can shine through, even through terrible loss. Wait, what? <sighs> He's truly an angel. His mother would be so proud. Every Christmas... I make the same wish, that they'll finally catch whoever killed her. A murderer is bad enough, but to take someone's life on Christmas, 
And what was she even doing down at the seaport that night? No, 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 this, this can't be happening. It, it doesn't matter, sis. We can't change the past. I've come to terms with it, and so should you. We need to focus on giving Timmy the best life we can, under the circumstances. He's lucky to have you, that's for sure. I don't know how he'd make it without you around. Well, you help too, you know. Who else would feed him exquisite, exotic Christmas foods like like General So's chicken? Oh, har, har, har. He told you, huh? Well, that's at least one lump of snow in the little angel's stocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go in and spend some time together. I've got some work to finish up when he goes to bed. Why am I not surprised? Maybe instead of wishing for Timmy's mom to reappear, I'll start wishing for Evelyn Crew to disappear. Mona. I know, I know. Let's get inside before the egg drop soup gets cold. This can't be happening. Rob Crandall's wife? Timmy's mom? She was the one that I... That, that you killed? Oh, yeah. But I, I, I had no idea. It was an accident. I, I would never... But you did, and here we are. Timmy Crandall spends another year without his mother because of your actions, because of your greed. I, I didn't force her to be there. I didn't even know her. Rob Crandall didn't even work for me then. Yeah, true, but their family needed the money, and you were willing to pay big bucks to get ahead with your underhand dealings. Not understanding what she was getting into, she took a risk. And you took her life. You took away Rob's wife and Timmy's mother that Christmas. Naughty, naughty indeed. You're a liar. This is all some kind of terrible dream. Just get out. I, I want to go home. Get out of here. Get I out. will, I will, I will. But not because you tell me to. Not everyone follows your commands, Evelyn Crew. Oh, no. But this happens to be my stop. May the rest of your ride be safe and smooth and equally educational. Yeah, get out. Go on. Go on. Take your tricks and your lies and your fake jolly attitude and hit the streets, you weirdo. <sighs> okay. Two down, one more to go. God, that was awful. But we survived. Fine. If memory serves me, now we get the spooky future guy, right? Right? <laughs> hey, driver, where are we picking up the next rider? <laughs> you know, I'm getting really sick and tired of the silent treatment. It was kind of spooky at first, but now it's just irritating. I want to get this over with stat and get home and get back to my life. I, I don't want to see anymore, okay? I'll do better. I'll be better. I'll... I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give Rob Crandall a raise or something. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? C can we just skip past this next part? Ho, 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 holiday travelers. Looking to put some hustle in your bustle? No time to spare for your here and there? Then Schnell is the rideshare app for you. Albans, oh, he started all this. Somehow... I don't know how this is happening, but I do know something about running a company. And I know as soon as I get home, the first thing I'm going to do is... Well, first I'm grabbing a stiff drink. The second thing I'm going to do is write a review that's going to run in every paper in this city and run this stupid little Schnell app right the Schnell out of town. So take your creepy spirit, people, and your spooky silent driver, and hey... Hey, hey, driver, why don't you just say something already? <sighs> You're so quiet, just like... Just like in the Christmas Carol. The spirit of the future, are you? Tis the season for holiday scampering. But no need for you to make stops all night long. Leave that to old Sin Nick and try our sharing and caroling rideshare special. Hello, Evelyn. Miss me? Jacob, you, you can't be here. You're... you're... Dead. I know. Uh... I know all too well, babe. Just as well as you do. If anyone knows it better than me... It's you, isn't it? I mean, you're the one who made sure... Let me out! Pull over now! You wanted it all. All the money, all the power, the whole company. Yours. And you got your way. It's just as soon as you got me out of the way. No. That first kill was no fun. 
but it sure made it easier for you, didn't it? Are you listening to me? Stop! Pull this thing over right now, you silent future freak! Cruise along the lighted streets with three fellow travelers. It's practically free and as easy as one, two, three. What better way to share the holiday spirit than to share a ride? I can change. I can. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Just please let me out now. Let me go home. I can change, I swear. Oh, you'll be changing, all right, Evelyn. Changing forms. Changing this life for the next. Ready for a nice, long future with me? We have plenty to catch up on. What? what? No! Slow down! Watch where you're going! You're going to cause an accident! (gasps) Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but our rideshare app is so delightful. It's lovely weather for a schnell ride together with you and three new friends. You won't regret it, and you'll never forget it. Ah! You're crazy! Please stop! I'll do anything, please! Too late, but keep up the pleading. (laughs) Trust me. You'll be doing plenty of begging for mercy where you're headed. <laughs> Jacob! Jacob, don't leave me alone with this silent sicko! You, please, where are we going? It's... Oh, my God, the seaport! Stop! Slow down! What can I do? Say something, please! <sighs> Goodbye. Christmas and happy holidays all. Mr. Albans here from Schnell Rideshare Service, inviting you on a special holiday ride. It's no trip in Santa's sleigh, but the price will slay you. Absolutely free. That's right. Take advantage of our sharing and caroling special. You won't believe the cost when you reach your final destination. See you in Schnell. Oh, 
the passenger How he rides Oh, the passenger He rides, he rides He looks through his window What does he see? He sees the side of the hollow sky He sees the stars come out tonight He sees the city's ripped backsides He sees the winding ocean drive And every little thing It was made for you and me All of it was made for you and me so let's take a ride and see what's mine singing la 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 He rides, he rides, he rides, he rides, he rides, he rides. He sees things from under glass. He looks through his window's eye. He sees the things he knows are his. He sees the bright and hollow sky. He sees the city. Asleep at night He sees the stars are out tonight And all of it is yours and mine So let's ride and ride and ride and ride and ride and ride and ride Singing la 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 This very special and unabashedly self-serving public service announcement. Hey! I was listening to that! Yeah, I knew you were. What gives? No one interrupts me while I'm listening to Fireside Mystery Theater, pal! But I happen to be James Reeser of Fireside Mystery Theater. Wow! You are? Really? How'd you get in my living room? I'm here to tell you that the supernatural is real, my friend. Hey, you look mighty comfy. Well, I am. I always make sure I'm nice and comfy whenever I listen to Fireside Mystery Theater. That's a snuggie for two you're wearing, isn't it? There should be room for one more in there, right? I mean, well... (laughs) It's a little bit of a squeeze, but I think I can... (laughs) What are you doing, man? (sighs) Ah... There we are. I just want to get up close and personal with one of our actual fans and listeners. This isn't too close, is it? Uh, It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, it is. So, I have to tell you, Fireside Mystery Theater fans don't come much bigger than you. And I'm only 5'2". Well, this is about something bigger than the both of us. I can see you're a regular listener. You've subscribed to the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've rated and reviewed the show on Apple Podcasts. Please don't lecture me about that. Yeah. You're wearing one of our logo t-shirts. You've got one of our official coffee mugs. May I? (laughs) Uh, You can just finish the rest of that. Thanks. You have everything the true Fireside mystery fan could ever hope to possess. Or do you? I have everything, Mac. Look, Ali Silva even signed the back of this Costco receipt. She was in line behind me at the time. Tell me, seriously, who needs that many prunes? I'm afraid you still don't have everything. I'm sorry, James. I'm the ultimate Fireside mystery theater fan. The slipper room even placed a restraining order on me. Well done. But there's still something else you can do to show your love and support and get some nice things in return. Nice things? 
Sign me up! Well, you can sign yourself up and become a Fireside Patreon patron. What? What's that? Oh, don't look so startled. It's very easy and it goes a long way toward helping the show. Now, you wouldn't want to see Fireside's flames flicker away, would you? No, no, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Just go to patreon.com slash fireside mystery theater or follow the become a patron link on our website. For as little as a few dollars a month, you can become a sustaining monthly patron for our show. Just a few dollars? Just a few bucks. But we'll gladly accept more if you're willing. And guess what? There are some very cool rewards and premiums starting at the $3 level, exclusively for our Patreon patrons. Like what? How about a postcard from your favorite Sunken Harbor character? Whoa! Any character? The best character by far is Cobra Kleinman! He's my favorite! Yep, any character. Or how about a recorded audio message from a member of the cast? Even moi. Okay, what are my other choices? (laughs) Or this. This, too, is exclusively for Fireside Patreon patrons. Ooh, gimme! Ah, not so fast. To get this exclusive limited edition Fireside Mystery Theater lapel pin, you must be one of our sustaining patrons at $10 a month. Sold! I'm signing up right now. But wait, I can't move my arms too well with you inside the Snuggie with me. Like I said, the supernatural is real, my friend. Behold. Your laptop is opening up by itself, and so is your wallet, and your bank card is, your bank card is, is, declined. (laughs) Uh, yeah, use that other card instead. Oh, gotcha. Much better. Hey, folks, finally there's something you should try at home. Go to patreon.com slash fireside mystery theater or follow the link from our website. Become a fireside Patreon patron today and be rewarded for your support. This is James Reeser signing off. From my rich and mellifluous baritone voice to your ears, we thank you for your support and continued patronage. And that was Schnell's Bells. The cast featured in this episode include James Reeser as Rob Crandall, Michael Pate as Jacob, James Kleinman as Frederick Albans, Alan LaForest as The Future, Casey LaForest as The Past, David Linton as The Present, Eric Davy Gislason as Timmy Crandall, Mary Murphy as Mona Crandall, and the part of Evelyn was played by me, Ali Silva. The song The Passenger by Iggy Pop and Ricky Gardner was performed by Martina De Silva, accompanied by Brad Whiteley. Schnell's Bells was written by Courtney Gillian Cholovich and directed by Holly Payne Strange. Our live show and podcast are produced by Gustavo Rodriguez and me for Fireside Mystery Productions. Our musical score was improvised and performed by Brad Whiteley. Our sound effects designer and engineer was Greg Russ. Our technical director at the Slipper Room was Johnny Goddard. Jason Graves composed our theme music, and I manage our audio post-production. This series may be one unearthed from the vault of previously unreleased and given a good dusting and polish, but we're also in the midst of crafting brand new audio delights for you as we adjust and rejigger our production model. It is the support from listeners like you that stokes our fires and helps us to burn long and bright into the future. And being a Patreon patron is how it happens. A contribution through Patreon, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars or more per month, can provide the vital lifeblood we need to keep doing this thing we do. Hey, we know, times are tough, so you can only do what you can do. But when you become a Patreon patron, not only do we have infinite thanks for you, we also offer things like discounts on merch, personalized postcards from Sunken Harbor, a snazzy Fireside Mystery Theater enamel pin. And now, when you become a patron at $5 or more per month, in addition to access to exclusive bonus content, we are now offering new episodes ad-free in our exclusive Patreon feed. How about that? Learn all about it and become an FMT Patreon patron today 
Go to patreon.com slash fireside mystery theater or just follow the link on our website. We thank you for any support you can give to help keep our fireside flickering. This is the part of the episode where we perform what we call the shout out. In this, the shout out, we pledge our fealty and undying gratitude to our newest Patreon patron. Michelle Henderer is this marvelous human I speak of, the latest to support our audio endeavors to thrill and chill. Michelle, you are a light in our lives, and we are so excited you've joined our fabulous Fireside Patreon family. So, now you have listened. Have you subscribed yet? It's the easiest darn thing to do now, so I hope you have. You know what else is easy and goes a long way to support us? A rating and review. Go on and spread the good word of our audio drama loving ways, friends. And do be sure to find us and give us a holler on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Fireside Mystery. Our performance stage may have gone dark for the 2020-2021 season, but that doesn't mean we aren't still doggedly driven and determined to deliver deliciously dark diversions to your socially distanced eardrums. Stay tuned for all new, yes, all new content that is being creatively crafted and suspensefully stirred at this very moment. You will not be disappointed, dear listeners. A driver may think he knows where he's going, but his GPS just might know better. Listen to the next installment of The Ride Sharers, anywhere you want to go. Coming soon to a podcast feed near you. A mysterious stranger is riding shotgun with you. L- look at the road and not into their eyes. And please mind the shadows. <laughs>